So just to continue where we, uh, from where we left off yesterday in Arachim Siman 120, 135 chapter 135, which is uh, the laws we were looking at of um, what happens when there are not straightforward circumstances for calling up a Kohen or a Levi uh, to the Torah. So we, we stopped yesterday with, pos- with posing the question that if there is but one Kohen in Shul, and um, the Kohen has perhaps been a little late to Shul for whatever reason, and is in the middle of saying the Shema, and the Gabbai, uh, not realizing that quite understandably, calls up the Kohen. What should the Kohen do? And the questions to consider here are, what takes priority, uh, saying the Shema or being called up to the Torah? Um, what should the uh, Kohen do if he does get called up to the Torah? Should he say the brachot and, of course, in normal circumstances, read along softly uh, with the person who is reading the Torah? Um, should he try and finish uh, various parts of the Torah, uh, of the Shema, excuse me, before he, he goes up to um, he goes up to the Bimah, even if that might cause a delay for other people? Or, or should he um, just pretend that nothing has happened and keep on praying with intense devotion while everyone figures, why has this guy not come up yet? Oh, they figure out he's in the middle of praying. So <clears throat> um, let's go through these scenarios and we'll look at some more of them in the coming days. So if the, Ko- the Kohen had already been called up, then um, he has to go up to the Torah. Uh, this is also building on what we looked at last week, uh, so that nobody should think if he doesn't go up to the Torah, maybe there's a problem with him being a Kohen. So, um, and it's really the same actually for anybody. If they are in the middle of saying the Shema, they should finish saying Shema and Baruch Shein. And if at all possible, they should finish. If they're at that stage, they should also finish uh, whichever paragraph of the Shema that they are in. They should say that as quickly as possible. And once they are in between the paragraphs of the Shema, it's called Bein HaPrakim, between the first and the second paragraph in particular. Uh, those are the easiest examples. Then it, they can say the Brachot and even read along uh, with, the, um, with the person who is, is laning. Uh, what about if they can't do that? We'll look at that tomorrow, all being well. And some examples which also relate to Psuke de Zimra as well. Um, so have a great and safe day, everybody. And um, there'll also be some uh, other, um, other learning resources coming up on the US websites and social media, which hopefully you would have gotten the UNUS email, which would have been sent while we were davening this morning. So hopefully those will uh, help us out during lockdown as well. Have a great day. Sure.